Good morning, Viking. Oh, and isn't Balam just such a beautiful, I mean, such a beautiful place. Today, we're going to be looking at how to create your own honey farm, which is actually super useful. So and you're probably going to run across this really early. And if you really pay attention early on, you can actually get your honey farm started really fast, which will help you throughout the whole game. What's honey used for? Well, if nothing else, it's useful for simply eating it. I often use it because I end up with a lot of honey. So I'll use it. I'll eat some honey, which has a good heal. See, it's five per tick. The health is only 20 compared to, for instance, the 40 for the cooked meat which has duration 1200, this has 600, uh, well actually duration 300 only. So it lasts a lot shorter, but it'll heal up a bunch of it and it's easy to have. It. Oh, the sun is going down. So what you wanna do, and you'll run into this and your exploration, you go into a, a small little house and there is a, well, this is a beehive. And be a little bit careful. If you go up to it, you'll get attacked by it. If I can get attacked by them. They're gonna attack me. Yes, you see they attacked me. Oh, and I'm being attacked here. I'm being poisoned and I'm easy, I get this greenish yellow thingy and I'm actually taking damage. So we're gonna do, there's a couple ways of doing it. One is basically go up with your bow and shoot it. When you've shot it a couple times, it will fall down, it'll break and it'll come down and you'll get your queen bee, which is really what you want to. A second way of doing it, which is arguably probably a lot easier is to go for your little hammer. Put down your workbench, come on, give me a workbench. It's a little bit weird, this whole workbench placement I find. But anyway, put down your workbench and then you simply go to town and demolish the structure. Once you've demolished enough so that it has no support, the beehive will be falling down, which is what you want because it'll break. Oh, come on, another one. There you go. See, it fell down. Let's go around here. Let's do that. Let's see, pick up. Oh, added a queen bee. So now we have a queen bee, right? Isn't that just nice? The queen of bees. So go around and when you see this one, make sure you grab them. They're really easy to bring with you home. Put them in a box if you don't want to make the beehive. But you want to make sure that you have a few of these ones at least because with a, except the honey that you use to just eat, you actually are using them later on for making potions and stuff like that. So you want to stock up a fair bunch of it as well. So we're going to take this queen bee and find a few more. And then we're going to go and, well, make them. So just look for this POIs, this villa, this small village hut or something around. It could be in a small village. It could be just a lone building out by itself. But just go and grab them. And you can hear the bee here. So another one again. Put it down, do the same thing. You wanted a second one. Just go and demolish the, the support here without going too close and there we have it. We should get a second one, another queen bee. Really simple, you get some resources, you get the queen bee. So I return here to my base with my queen bees. I see I have two of them here and simple enough, you just use your hammer, you select the beehive. Now you have to be a little bit careful of where you put it. Let's see if I put it here. And let's see, I'll see check bees and it says they're happy. If you are putting them in a place that they don't like, they will actually tell you that as well. For instance, you try to put it inside so like this and you check them and say, oh, they need more open space, which basically means you need to pull it down. You need to put it somewhere else. You normally, you know, just I put them in a place that just groups them up. Do be a little bit careful, though. I believe that some of the mobs like the grillings, etc., will be attacking them if they get into your base. So you might want to make sure they are in at least a little bit of an enclosed space so they don't get destroyed once you have an invasion or something. Uh, this is probably not optimal. I do have my walls outside, but I probably should do this a little bit better uh, so that they are a bit more protected. If there are any grillings or dw dwarfs or or whatever that is attacking because it's a pity if you get them all destroyed but anyway these ones now i check on them check bees it says they're happy which means they are producing honey slowly it takes a while if they're not happy they'll tell you and they're not going to be producing anything so here i have a max three honey that is actually being produced here just hit e it'll empty it e and e so as simple as that, I got 12 honey, which is another reason that I make a few of these ones because it's a really easy way to just get some food without, you know, of course you can have your berries and you can kill and slaughter your boars and everything, but honey is actually super easy to just get for a little bit of food when you need it just to heal yourself up as well. And as I said, it's going to be needed for potions when you progress further down the game as well. So just take whatever you have, whatever you're not eating and just stuff it in a, some a chest and just save it for all your potion making. But that is how easy and sweet it is to get your honey farm going. If you enjoyed this guide, why not leave a like on the video? Maybe subscribe to my channel as well. Check the playlist at the top of the description. I have a bunch of other guides and how-tos for Valheim as well. Enjoy yourself, Viking. Keep sweet. See you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.